Hey friends, Ranit here and welcome back to the update on this Circus 2.0 machine. Uh, it's been a while since I did an update on this because I just did another Circus machine. So this is two and that one was the first one when you look back. Uh, it, I forget what day it is, my watch died so I gotta like get a new one. So let me look. It is Saturday, January 28th, 2022, 2023, uh, like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I haven't worked on this since before Christmas, because uh, we had a baby right after Christmas, our second one, so I've been a little preoccupied. But let me show you what we've got done thus far, and where we're headed. All right, so we completely, like down to the bare bones, because you saw us paint this, uh, disassembled, cleaned everything, and reassembled it. Uh, one thing I didn't do, which I'm going to try and do next time, is this backboard here. I'm going to take everything off of it and paint it white. So I'm learning as I do these on, you know, how to make it better. So that's what we're going to try next time. Uh, but for this time, we did all this. We got all the score reels apart, like completely apart. Cleaned everything, cleaned them with Novus. Got them perfect, shiny, and new-ish, as new as they can be. We're actually going to try LEDs in this one. So we got Comets. Uh, hell, I forget what these are. They have a recommendation page. And they'll tell you what you should use for EMs. So these are, I think, the softer white. We got a red flasher that goes behind his nose. And, of course, we repainted the cabinet. We did a whole video on that. I don't know why I keep saying we. It's me. I did it. Uh... So we made this back door. I keep getting questions on how to replace a door. If they're gone, you can sometimes find a metal one, but not very often. So you can get this metal, that's original, but you can get an aluminum U-channel like that. Uh, you can see, or is it that little pole sticking up right there? It comes in like eight foot lengths from, I got that at Lowe's for a couple bucks. And you just cut it to length, stick it in here and the wood fits in it and then it locks into place. It's, you know, not rocket science. It's pretty simple. Uh, but, yeah, we took everything apart, cleaned everything. All the steppers, all the relays, we completely disassembled, removed. Cleaned all the Jones plugs, the light sockets. This bent up and dinged because when I set, took it out of there and set it down, the whole light board, the damn thing fell over on the this. Just hit that and hit landed on the corner so that was nice glad it didn't fall forward but anyway everything's popping there was one stepper that was a little not sticky but it wasn't quite going all the way one score reel so we'll see if that gives us trouble this one with the tape on it i went through all of them and two of these damn little not that one the hairpin there's two more really small ones. See right there? There's one there and there's one back here somewhere. Just pinged off. So when I got to the end, I was missing two of them. So Mr. Steve Young has some. They're like a quarter. So he, I got them in a box. We'll go through my box at the end here. Let's see what we have to figure out. Then come over here to our repainted cabinet. We took, I'm learning how to polish metal, right? So I took six, eight, and a thousand grit and just, you know, just went through all these metal parts and they shined up pretty good. Uh, I gotta figure out the buffing wheel. When I tried that, all I did was go everywhere. So like it blew fuzz. I gotta figure that out because people get much better results than this using that. Uh, but regardless, we cleaned everything. Redid that so it actually works now. The buttons. This is the key that was in it. It's a little wonky. If you know where I can get a source for these damn coin door doors, let me know because I don't know where the hell they can get them. And this one's missing. And I think I have another one or two that's missing. Anyway, we repainted the legs. I think I did a video on that. New leg levelers, new bolts. Got these cabinet protectors from pinball life 
You see various people using them. There's two different kinds and most people use the first one wrong. The first one is little metal plates. They bolt there and then legs bolt to that. Those are for vinyl when you have a vinyl wrap. Uh, I'm sure it works fine for this, but that's not really what they're for. These plastic ones are for painted cabinets. Uh, Kinda of got some new buttons, but that can be done later. These ones are cleaned and polished and they still look like dirty, so we may see about getting some that aren't quite so nasty. We did the plunger rod and boy, does that thing pop. The one on the other machine uh, is bent, so it, but hopefully that, I don't know if I got the wrong spring or what, but she pops. Um, we took this board completely out. We took everything out of the cabinet, cleaned it all, polished it, tumbled some of it, actually painted the parts that were nasty. Um, as you can see, this the tilt bob was missing on this game. So I don't actually have one. I got the stick, but not the bob. Uh, I got to find the screws to put the power switch back in. I don't know what happened to them. They're probably with the play field stuff. Uh, but we cleaned everything, completely disassembled every single relay, cleaned it all, uh, completely disassembled the score motor, and I'm talking down to individual plates, put it all back together, cleaned them, cleaned all the switches, cleaned the steppers, uh, replaced, you can see the, the one fuse block that I replaced because it was broken. All the fuses were wrong. You got to check that every time. So I put the correct fuses in there. Like they were all... 20 and 15 amp, I believe. Uh, took everything off the board, not all at once, but individually, and cleaned all the boards. That's another thing I think I'm going to do next time is take all that off and repaint the board, because I think that would add a nice pizzazz to it. Uh, the chimes, we completely tore apart, cleaned and rebuilt. See, that one coil there got a little hot, but it's fine. Um... Uh, People replace those when they do that, but all you gotta do is replace the the wrap if you, you know, are anal. It's fine, like that. But I had forgot to order a chime kit. So Mr. Young hooked me up with one of them too. Cleaned all the Jones plugs, installed a new power cord. I would suggest you do that on every single thing, machine you work on, especially if it's the original cord, because uh, that's probably the part that's going to get the most nicks and dings. And Anyway, it's just peace of mind. Even replacing the end of the cord is kind of wonky. Because you never know what's wrong. But that way, you go back. Uh, before you plug anything in, like put your fuses. Before you put the fuses in, check all your voltages coming off the transformer. I mean, it's not often that they're bricked. But just make sure that that's, you know, done. I had to get some new bolts for the head because if you watch back in the saga, the person had this sitting outside, knew nothing about pinball. I think it was under a tarp for at least a couple of years, which is why we had to repaint it because all the veneer had was basically just fallen off. Um, anyway, he took the bolt, took the head off to bring it to me. And I don't know if they just like left the bolts there, if they were in the truck, whatever, but that's when they broke the damn back glass. So we got a new back glass from BG Resto. I think I did a video on that a while ago. It's been quite a while since I got that because this machine's taking me so damn long. All right, well, let's set up and we'll see what's in our box here. Our play field's been sitting here under this tarp so it doesn't burn into this towel so it doesn't get dirty. Um, so we're gonna have to flip that over, rebuild some of the stuff and then put it on the rotisserie. So we got all the top of the play field parts and they're pretty nasty all rusty so i got a wire wheel for my grinder most of them i'm gonna grind and paint because they're not gonna polish up like this like this i might not paint the inside but i don't know it's pretty bad but the yellow i'm gonna probably not the apron but the back apron i'm gonna probably grind that wire brush that right and paint it the same bright ash yellow as this so they match the apron if i could find a decal i would do it to it too but so far i have not been able to find one but i need one for both machines so 
If you know where you can get an apron decal that style, let me know. Uh, but we gotta clean all this stuff up. Can't do it today, unfortunately, because it's raining. So I can't paint in the rain. And every time I try to paint the damn garage, it gets all over my car, so. All right, we've got these items here. You know, your bumpers. These are your pass <clears throat> passive bumpers, pop bumpers. Your flipper mix. We got the troughs uh, kicker and all the screws and switches and stuff. This all needs to be clean. Those aren't too bad, but they all need to be run through the tumbler and cleaned and stuff. So let me set up and we'll go through what I got in my. Alright, so I ordered some stuff quite a while ago. But I got my Steve Young's Circus ring kit. Sorry, the lighting in here is terrible. These are leftover parts from another machine, so we'll use that. Um, some more leftovers. Uh, so I got these balls, right? Which sucks because I left them out here. And they've been out here for about a year now. And they look a little... They're brand new, but they got like rust spots on them. So the moral is, don't leave your damn balls outside in the Houston humidity for a year. Uh, and then we got a Bally re Rebuild Kit for the flippers. I mean, these are expensive, and this is a half kit. I know I've got the rest of it somewhere, you yeah. um, know. You shouldn't skip on these. I mean, these are the only interface you have with the game. So, you know, nut up a little bit and rebuild your damn flippers, especially if it's got the original hardware in it still. All right, so let's go through these real quick. I got new flipper bats and shoes. These are the molded ones because we didn't have the right whatever, but you can see how, right? So we'll save those, and I think one of them is broken. Anyway, so we got those. We got new posts. There's two different kinds. Right, the taller ones and the shorter ones. So I don't usually do this, but as I said, he had this sitting outside, so these were under UV. I mean, can you see why now? <laughs> Could retro bite those, but they'll never be again. But we'll have, you know, a game we didn't got quite go quite so crazy with and need something back or whatever. It's just I don't know. Anyway, so we got those. Probably unnecessary, but Oh, I did buy a few things for another machine. We'll talk about those in a few minutes here. Uh, yep, here's my chime kit. Here's those two little clippies. A couple more skirts for the other two bumpers. Uh, it's this one. Oh, no, this is this charm kit. This is for the summer game. Spill the word. I don't know. This is for the game. Okay, here's more bumper parts. Springs and bases. I think this is just padding. Here's some more 8 amp fuses, because I've done kill them all, trying to get circus to work. I forget what the problem was. And I got new bumpers here that are somewhat yellowed, which is upsetting. He probably has had these in his damn parts bin forever. Anyway, they're better than 
new one. Anyway. I didn't notice that last time I got these out, but that's irritating. Um, anyway, that's it in the box here. I needed more money because if you order a hundred bucks worth of stuff from him, you get like a 10% discount. So here is a Bally Flipper rebuild kit for a solid state machine. Here is the chime kit for a Bally solid state machine. It's for my next project. And here's a rubber kit for the next Bally solid state machine we're gonna be doing. I'm entirely convinced that the yellow flipper rubbers are what I want, but it's all good. So, forgive me. Yeah, right there is my dirty lady. So, she'll probably be the next one we'd rip into. So I'm gonna put all that stuff here in the Manahari box so I don't lose it. Anyway, so we'll do another update uh, once we get this thing a little more done. It'll probably take me two or three weeks because I don't have a lot of time to work on it on the weekends. And I've been doing a lot of running races. Uh, I link our running channel at the end of each of these videos. If you want to see what we're doing, well, what I'm doing. Lunchbox had a baby, so she can't really do it right now. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you think. Keep it real. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.